flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and my fucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about Mercury. Now, Mercury. I got a previous video on Mercury, but, you know, I like I like to stay new. I like to keep uh, creating. You know what I'm saying? So, um, years from now, I may have tons of video on Mercury. So, whatever I didn't get to really explain and expound on the last one is going to be on the future ones because information is never dull. It's never stale. You know what I'm saying? Remember that. Don't think just because you know something, there's not a lot more to know in that subject matter. There's always more to know. It's almost there's always something you miss over. There's always something that that wasn't comprehended at first. That's that's now comprehended. For an example, now the uh, the three outer planets, which is um, Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus. Now this is an example right here. Now when they was a little closer to Earth, there was a little bit more in our consciousness awareness. So um, naturally, by nature, we added it. So instead of it being a seven day week period, there was a 10 day week period. And with the 10 day week period, there was actually uh, three weeks within a month, which, uh, which comes up to 30, which comes up to 30 degrees of, 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 a, of a circumference. Um, and you know what I'm saying? The further these planets drifted away, the more our calendars down here, because as above, so below, as below, so above. The more our calendars down here drifted apart from it. So we started adding a lot of um, hours and minutes and seconds of the day and started cramming them into the seven planets, into the seven planets, you know what I'm saying? And then within the seven planets, um, which we are consciously aware of and we got unconsciously aware of because of the three um, outer planets have drifted further away from us due 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 time. It was only natural for the people on Earth to do the same down here. Now, reason why I seem like people just now are becoming aware of, and everybody is unlocked about the other constellations and shit. You know what I'm saying? Is because now we're in a, uh, we're in a time space continuum that we're actually getting closer to the um to the see you got you got Ceres son not Ceres sorry about that uh what well, like the radio station um how you pronounce it not Ceres the 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 asteroid but like like Ceres like the S I R I U S whatever that that has its own sun you know what I'm saying and our sun and our sun circles that sun every couple thousands of years so you know what i'm saying it's like way more than a couple thousands of years but see anytime and then all these other constellations that surround us that's not from this actual sphere of reality which is this milky way this milky way is getting closer to constellations that we can uh and we're picking up the conscious waves from it so now as above so below so as below so above it's actually um, we're actually being able to, to see it on a on a on a um, behind the scenes level as far as meso metaphysics and 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 the um, the yin realm. We're starting to see these things. We're not seeing it physically yet, so it's not compounded and grounded yet, so everyone could comprehend it. See, there's a lot of people who conscious level are lower than others on Earth. So pe people who conscious level are high. People who conscious level are high. Is high enough to reach and see these things from the spiritual realm. People conscious level are low, may not be able to comprehend it yet because it's so far up there still. It's not, it's not, it's not completely indulged into our Milky Way yet for everyone can get it yet. So that's why it seems like there's only certain people here who enter certain knowledges and there's, and there's other people here who still dumbfounded until it becomes a lot closer to the point that it'll be understandable and the people who, who, who are catching that consciousness wave now will be able to explain it better on practical terms for people who are low in consciousness can understand it better because it'll be a lot closer to the, to the, uh, to the atmosphere of our Milky Way to the point that you'll be able to grab the the information out of it and receive it a lot better right now conscious people who high in consciousness can see it but when they start explaining it regular people may not understand it or may turn deaf ear to it because it's not clearly grounded yet for our for the regular circumference to get it but y'all get what i'm talking about but that's just an example 
you know what I'm saying? Right now, we're going to just talk about Mercury, though. Like, I'm getting into a whole nother... See, I'm, uh, all my videos is not even really... I know astrology, but it, astrology come from a certain sphere of reality. And that's a lot of times, when I start rambling, that's a lot of times the sphere of reality I'll be in. But I'm going to continue making videos from that sphere of reality so people can even get the concept of why astrology was made in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna get to that right now. I, I, I look at astrology like it's baby feeding. This is baby feeding right now because the knowledge is so more broad than you can imagine. Like, the, as far as the planets and astrology, that, that trickles down into everybody's living existence. I mean, you could apply it to religion, to how they created all the Bibles. You could, you could, you could orchestrate the planets and the circumference up there to education how we get all our sciences, how we even got math, how we even know how to tell time, how we even know how to do all that. Everything comes from above as below. And then it's like from below as above. It's a receive and a exchange of energy. It's a yin and a yang, you know what I'm saying? But depending on what age you're in, is depending on what's going to be the yang and what's going to be the yang. Is the below going to be the yang? Or is the above going to be the... Uh, the yang. See, right now we we in a situation where the below is the yin now, and the above is the yang. When we was in the age of Pisces, the above was the yin, and down here was the yang. See, it switched though. But we gonna that's a whole other video. Let, let's let me get to Mercury because I only got 15 minutes. I'm tripping. Um, yeah, Mercury is the fastest planet. You know what I'm saying? It's the closest to the sun. You know what I'm saying? So it still take almost about a year to to go through all the signs, but it's only it only do that because uh, Mercury has his own mind. Uh, Mercury deals with the mind. Now the moon is your mind, but Mercury is how you receive and put together the information that you didn't got from. Because your moon, your your moon sign, your mind is your antenna to the 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 behind the scenes realm, which is the the yin realm, which is the realm that the unseen realm. The, you only could feel that realm. You only could. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Acknowledge that realm. And then when you put it into action, you're using your sun sign to manifest and bring that realm into this realm. You know what I'm saying? But that realm is still unseen. So that's the moon. Now Mercury is how you 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 build that. You build every how you how you understand what you're receiving. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people who got uh Mercury's that's very getting aspected harsh aspects and and very this is in a bad place bad position to be these people it's hard for them to understand certain things you know what i'm saying a lot of people may have um they may say that these people have uh the add or uh these people have um motherfucking uh what's the other one that that when people they good at one thing but they bad at everything else um autism and all that shit like that like like shit like that is um you can kind of look at somebody's chart and see if they're gonna have that but see it's not that they have an illness on this earth it's just that they see is their mercury is in another realm and it's learning is learning things that other people here think you should already know but things that's on earth that you think you should already know a lot of times is things that you don't really care to know you shouldn't care to know as being a human in mankind but since all these other things been brought here by the founders of whatever land you stay on whatever country you in that's that make you think that that's the things you're supposed to learn but really that's not your heritage that's not your beginnings that's not your natural states of awareness that's just things you have to learn here to apply yourself with the common sense of everybody as one but you know what I'm saying a lot, of, not, a lot of times that's not necessarily the right thing and people who have uh, Mercury's and messed up positions can see that but they become outcasts now another thing with Mercury since it's the closest to the Sun it's the fastest moving planet now it doesn't switch sides as fast as the moon but the moon is not necessarily a planet we just call it a, a planet because of the energy it carries but um, all these are just really force energies you know what I'm saying I'm really about to stop calling them planets on some real shit but these are just energies, you know what I'm saying? And they carry certain energies and certain sigils with them. So, you know what I'm saying? Mercury is the fastest planet. So, um, it, 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 it's like connected to your nerves. Any fast movement, any fast pace, any anything like, just it, it's connected to the nerves. It's, it's, it's the process. It's like, because you, you know what you're going to do in your mind, right? Now, your first initial reaction to anything, that's Mercury. Like, if you say, say I wanted to look to the right. 
that was Mercury. Now it's in my mind, the, the program is in my mind that I want to look to the right. That's there. But how you do it is Mercury. It, it's, it's, the, it's the nerve system. It's your, it's, it's anytime you're in a situation and it deals with anything you got to kind of think fast or do fast or it or it creates a something that you have to do a fast reaction to nine times out of ten that's that's mercury diligence uh, and then a lot of times you can you can kind of confuse someone's mercury sign with their sun sign because sometimes it's like your first initial reaction before you can even you ever did something and you don't even know why you did it it's like you you didn't think about it, but you you actually didn't even mean to do it. It's like a natural reflex or something like that. Boom! That's a that's like Mer that's Mercury right there. Like a lot of times you may tap somebody and somebody may turn around and slap you real quick and they didn't mean to do it. It wasn't their actions, reactions, or their personality. It was their Mercury sign. They Mercury might have been in Scorpio or Aries, where it was so fast paced. The first the first initial reaction was the you know what I'm saying do a swing you know what I'm saying because of the 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 aggression of that Mars carries with them signs you know what I'm saying um and 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 so on and so forth you know what I'm saying um so it deals with the nerves and it quick and it, and it, and it kind of deals with how you communicate and build build these things in your mind whatever you think whatever your moon sign is on mercury is going to uh mercury sign is there to help put it together before you communicate it, you know what I'm saying? Mercury is the communication sign. So, you know what I'm saying? It works different in all elements. It works different in water elements. It works different in fire elements. It works different in earth elements. It works best in air elements. And and and, and slightly uh, Virgo, because it rules Virgo. But other than that, uh, Mercury works best in air elements. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Mercury is your your first, so you can you can mistake someone's sun sign sometimes for their Mercury sign because it's so close to the sun. Now, by it being so close to the sun, you can you can you could burn yourself out using too much Mercury. Like you ever thought about something too hard, like trying to understand something in your head too hard, and then get stressed out about it or get tired about it or say fuck it, whatever like that. You burnt yourself out. See, Mercury is too close to the sun. So it was the closest planet. It's not too close, but it's the closest planet to the sun. So it's the most it's the most frequent element or energy that you can use that could burn yourself out. It it burn you you'll burn yourself out using Mercury faster than Venus, faster than your Earth, faster than um, Jupiter, faster like because the first thing you could do fast is overthink something. So you saying you can't overlove something faster than you overthink something. You know what I'm saying? Because Venus deals with love and Mercury deals with communication within the self and within with others. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you can't, just like Jupiter, you can't, you can't find wisdom on something faster than you can overthink about something. You can completely not know about something and overthink about it and burn yourself out from it. But it takes experience and a little bit of time to gain knowledge. Cause that's why, because Jupiter is a little farther away. So it take, we have Mercury here and Jupiter here, it takes time. And experience going through asteroids and shit before it gets to Jupiter, before it know the wisdom and know what it took to get there to, to learn that higher knowledge. But down, but when Mercury's still down here, it's still dealing with the, the small regular issues. You know what I'm saying? So you can burn yourself out with Mercury. It's like, see, it's a lot of different ways you can look at it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to overdo Mercury. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to. Uh, just walk in a shadow of death, just using your actions and your moon signs sometimes, and let let receive enough information that's valuable enough to start building in your head, like with Mercury. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can you can overthink something and overthink yourself out of a situation and out of the experience to the point that you will never know what it's like to be in that experience because you overthought it using other people as examples or something, and you overused your Mercury and burnt yourself out and never went through with it. Now you don't have no knowledge on it. You just have own knowledge of your own self. So you know what I'm saying? That's another thing you got to watch out. Sometimes you have to set Mercury aside. And it's hard to do that because it's closest to your, your actions. So your actions is always going to carry a little bit of Mercury with it. You know what I'm saying? Just like body language. Your actions is like what I'm doing right now. This is my actions. But we call body language language for a reason. It has its own language. Now you, you only can read it using your Mercury. You know what I'm saying? So you have to sit back and be like, oh, this this person aggressive. Oh, this person calm. Oh, this person calm, cool, and collected. Oh, this person uh, is uptight. Oh, this person, that's Mercury. You know what I'm saying? That's what Mercury doing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's dictating and putting together another person's actions. And it's always doing that. 
See, Mer when, when Mercury start to try to overanalyze how a person think, Mercury going to burn itself out because you never going to know what another person think. You may have some certain ideas, but certain ideas only come from the body language, which you've seen their sun do because Mercury is the closest to the sun. You know what I'm saying? Mercury is, it, it, and it's by us being so close to the sun, it's going to be blind to the darkness of the yin. It's only gonna see the light. So, any, so how is gonna how 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 you gonna try to understand how to, the way someone else think if they ain't showing you no actions? How you how you gonna sit back and try to dictate someone else's moves? Once you once you do that, you are gonna burn yourself out. You know what I'm saying? The Mercury can't see what the moon doing. It's too close to the fucking sun. You know what I'm saying? It can kind of see glimpses of Jupiter because it's far away, but it knows it has to go through a lot of trials and tribulations to get there. Which is AKA time time and experience gains wisdom you know what i'm saying it's aware it's aware of saturn but nine times out of ten it's, it's gonna have to work to get there you know what i'm saying and before it can do that it has to love something so it has to communicate something it's in touch with you know what i'm saying and if, if mercury not in touch with anything you're just gonna be here 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 without using venus so you know what I'm saying? That's, this, this might be going over 15 minutes, so I'm gonna stop this one. But it's a lot more. I'm gonna make another Mercury. I'm gonna make numerous videos for all the planets because there's so many different aspects that I I see from the place I live at. That these places, that these planets hold so much. Is is so much um, weight that they carry within everyday life that people just never notice. You know what I'm saying? So, but right now I'm finna go do the signs. So flight bus, bitch. Air.